Okay, I'm going to show you this trick for folding down faster than real time with Spanner. Um, I've got here 100 hertz across all six channels of a 5.1. I've uh, backed it off 1 dB from full scale, so you can see here the meters are just sitting below clipping. That's them clipping. This is back 1 dB. Okay, so I'm going to fold that down to, what should we say, uh, mono. So here is a spanner. I've called up the mono, all channels mono preset. Um, first I'm going to render that and have a listen. And you'll see all those other channels are mute. We've got the center channel now has all the signal folded down. It's clipping, of course, because I've got a 24-bit converter and there's no way I can uh, play all those uh, all that signal that's gone over full scale zero. But luckily, I was in 32-bit floating point mode when I did that fold down, so that signal's still there. I just can't hear it in this in this Pro Tools environment. If I was to back off quite a few dB on my clip gain here and have another listen, it's clean. So uh, what that means is there's signal there for me to resurrect. If I then grab something like Maxim, a limiter of some kind, I'm not touching the settings, threshold 0 dB, ceiling 0 dB, I just hit render, it's clean. Job done. Uh, and if I guess if you're making a deliverable or something, you might want to flip back to 24-bit before you did that last step. Yeah, good, done. And uh, of course, with Spanner, you get a bunch of uh, simple fold-down algorithms, ITU standard, and some others. Um, and of course, you're, you're free to make your own.